Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to talk about the Andrew Tate Sneeko thing that's going back and forth. Let's get into it. Well, OnlyFans girls need attention to sell their OnlyFans. And losers need attention to sell their stream. And none of them have any talent. None of them are insightful. None of them have any wisdom or life experience. None of them have anything to teach you. Birds of a feather flock together. So my answer is, in this attention economy, unfortunately, on the race to the bottom, while everyone does more and more stupid things to get views, I don't think I am ever going to be surprised by how low they will sink. And if hanging around with an OnlyFans girl is going to get them some attention on the internet, they're going to do it. Same as they're going to do anything else to get some attention on the internet, like degrade themselves endlessly, scream at a camera, be clowns, be morons, sip lean, whatever crap they do to get views, that's what they're going to do. So, well, OnlyFans girl And to be honest, like I said, I'm not like an Andrew Tate stan or a fan it's not like i sit sit down all day watching him but to some things i agree with but that's just because if anybody else said that i would have agreed with it it's not because andrew said it uh, i don't take more stock in what andrew says versus another person saying it um i will say this though he's absolutely right the at this point you just kind of got to live with it of course men are going to get on camera do only fan models or girls they are considered thoughts just to get more attention and that's fine you know um but I think Sneeko in this example give the best, I mean, this is the best example I could think of when it comes to this and why Sneeko for me is such a big problem, right? They do this, it, it just makes zero sense to me. It makes zero sense. Um, I used to drink sparkling, but I don't have still now. Yeah. Why don't you drink sparkling anymore? We'll get into that. Yes, uh, she's an OnlyFans girl, um, but you are pathetic and a loser if you sign up for it. Porn is the worst thing for you, and it's not kind of ironic that well, people are so upset about that. Pathetic and a loser. You're, you're an absolute pathetic loser if you sign up for OnlyFans. So now that you just offended me and what I do, like... No, it is what it is. Your profession is demonic. It's just a, you, you have a satanic okay. profession. And you're, okay, you're, you're satanic just, you're, is wrong because yeah, I, I praise God. I praise God. Okay, <laughs> we'll get into Sneeko for a second, but let's just touch on what she said. Now, do I think OnlyFans is satanic? Okay, that depends on how you define uh, something that's satanic. I would say, yes, it's evil, but a satanic is completely different. Satan satanic is a different thing, but that's a story for another day. But to go back to what you're saying, I praise God. There's just no way on earth, young lady, that you can be spreading your legs or doing anything that you know brings the downfall of men and then immediately say, I praise God. <laughs> you don't. I think at some point in this time, we have to just acknowledge that I'm either living for God or I'm not. OK, you either are or you're not. It can't just be I can do whatever I want. But as long as I say it, it's fine. That's just not how the world works in any society of life. I can't say, you know what? I never went to college. I never passed the bar exam, but I do give law. I do give advice for the law. You know, I do give law advice. I'm not a lawyer, no matter how much I believe it. Everything would say that I'm not. I didn't do anything to do there. I didn't. I don't practice law. I there's no way I can call myself a lawyer. You know, so if, I'm not saying she. I don't even think she's calling herself anything religious. I'm just saying you just got to be careful when you do that. But let's go back to Sneeko. Praise God, I have a good relationship with God. That's good. And I will repent for my sins. But but the, your profession is satanic, and you're you're not repenting for your sins if you're still doing it. All right, let's get off. Destroying lives actively. Let's get back so to Sneeko. Don't do it. Why do you like? You think that's the best thing for me, really? Like to be to yeah, convert you should, you should and stop quit. doing only you should, you should quit. Yeah. See, when you ask me that question, it's my not a question. Mind, I'm saying you should quit. Okay. When you say that to me, that makes my mind run on into why would he not want what's best for me? Because you know anybody who That's does only fans. It's, it's saving your soul. It's going to get you into Jana. It's the best business option for any girl right, right now. Can you take that money? Ugh, that's disgusting. Sorry, she just keeps talking. That OnlyFans is the best option for girls? That's the best option for girls, even though the vast majority of them don't make any money. That is the best option? That's disgusting. You think that a... So you think the best thing a woman can do in her life is get naked on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even use the word misogynistic, but that sounds misogynistic to me. Like, the best thing you think a woman can do in her life is get naked on camera for money. Like, that's, there's nothing else you can do that that can help her. It can't all be about money, man. It just can't. Money with you when you die? No. No. So I, hopefully that's the best thing you can do is make it into heaven, make it into Jonah. 
I want to go to heaven. I, I would like wanna, to see you there. I don't want to go to hell. I would like to see you there. But I, you, the quickest way to get there is is quitting. I know the truth hurts, but but like I just feel like. Be that. careful though. The way she, be honest, I think she knew. I uh, see when Sneeko does that kind of stuff, I'm cool with them. Now it's kind of goofy for him to invite somebody on his OnlyFans, and I'm gonna get into Sneeko uh, because that seems like he was being genuine, but we all know he's not. Waiters are making a scene. Do you want to go to the bathroom for a second? I have a couple things to talk about. You can come up. I don't want to make you upset right now. Okay, I'm gonna go take a deep breath. Okay. Pretty much just said, can you go do something else? I, I, I got men thing to do. Turn this off for a second. And losers need attention to sell their stream. And none of them have any talent. None of them are insightful. None of them have any wisdom or life experience. None of them have anything to teach you. Birds of a feather flock together. So my answer is, in this attention economy, unfortunately, on the race to the bottom, while everyone does more and more stupid things to get views, I don't think I am ever going to be surprised by how low they will sink. And if hanging around with an OnlyFans girl is going to get them some attention on the internet, they're going to do it. Same as they're going to do anything else to get some attention on the internet. Like degrade themselves endlessly, scream at a camera, be clowns, be morons, sip lean, whatever crap morons. they do to get views. That's what they're going to do. Okay. I don't think it makes a lot of sense uh, to attack back or to insult back. Obviously, I agree with a lot of the message. Apparently, have some disagreements with the messenger. But, you know, I, I resonate with a lot of what he says. Do I think it makes sense to go insulting, you know, name calling and belittling the, the work that I do? Um, no. Does that make me want to go and criticize or maybe call out hypocrisy? Yes, but... I think there's there's something more important right now, especially when, like, we're both getting attacked. Me and Andrew are both getting blamed for manipulating the youth. That's what they're saying to turn them into misogynists and homophobes and all, all this garbage. They're blaming murders. Like they're saying that what happened in England today is our fault. So I, I think that there's there's much more. In That's a little ridiculous. When it comes to somebody taking somebody's life, you can't blame that on an influencer. People make their, if somebody goes out of their way to take somebody's life, man, you got to know that there's something going on with them in most cases, okay? So I'm not going to blame that kind of stuff on him. Am I going to say that some of the influencing that a Sneeko does, does affect the youth? Yes. And he has to know that because Sneeko wouldn't do a lot of the stuff that he does if he knows it's not going to get views. Sneeko would not do a lot of the stuff he does if he didn't know it was going to have an impact. Sneeko would not do a lot of the stuff he knows if he didn't know it was going to make him money at the end of the day. At the end of the day, Sneeko is about making views and getting as many young men in. That's why he'll go from being this guy to being religious to being that to being this, because that's what it's all about. So for him to foolishly say that um, he doesn't believe that he's impacting the youth when he literally does content that he knows is going to impact the youth. That's why he does it, because it means more publicity, more views, and ultimately more money so he can keep doing this for the rest of his life without having to go get a nine to five. You got to know that you're making an impact. You do it specifically for that reason. If not, Sinico, you would be a regular guy because most people don't act like you unless they're doing it for clout. Like the average person would not act like Sneeko. There are some people who have extreme views, but you put it all online. If somebody has extreme views offline, it's completely different, but you do it and you make all these assumptions and all this stuff on camera you could totally be a live streamer and be a completely private person that is possible there's people who live stream video games people who just live stream talking to people but you might not know a whole lot about them because they don't bring up their personal life sneeko does that and he he says all his extreme views on camera important thing we, we got to keep pushing this specific message and what we believe in i think people on this side we agree on so much that it doesn't make sense to go and, and pick fights with one another and have beef with one another which actually like hearing that i was surprised it's like right now out of all times you're seeing that both of us are being blamed for murder i don't want to keep dividing because there's a there's a lot of ego at play that i notice in the in the red pill space and that's why i wanted to grab gravitate away towards that and do more irl streams go outside more no 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 no. you get you went away from the red pill because you said yourself it's dead you're not getting away from red pill because you're tired of the ideology. You got away from it because the money has died out. There is nobody who cares about red pill that often anymore, especially because people like Pearl came along and just destroyed it. Fresh and Fit was already bringing it down. Pearl came along and just buried that into the ground. It's 
completely gone now, in my opinion. Some people may believe it's still alive and well, maybe on some 4chan or Reddits. But for the most part, Pearl came along and just buried Red Pill. And diversify the type of content instead of just like, you know, screaming and yelling at the camera, interacting with more people, going to more different places, training in more different gyms, learning from more people, meeting up with different Islamic scholars and doing more street dollar, trying to do more and trying to put myself out there more in the, in the real world instead of just being a person screaming at the camera because it gets repetitive and like that when your ego gets a play and people think, oh. Nobody asked y'all to scream at the camera. Y'all saw the views go up when y'all screamed at the camera. Nobody said you have to scream at the camera to be red pill. You decided to do that whole dumb thing, especially when you went on and pulled out a Glock and started pointing it at the camera. You did all that dumb stuff, Nico. Nobody asked you to do all that. You don't have to listen to any young 14-year-old, 10-year-old little kid who says, Sneeko, can you yell at the camera? You don't have to do any of that nonsense. You know, you do it if you want to do it because, like, even I yell at the camera because I, you know, some things really turn me up, you know, and that's just who I am, you know. Um, but if you're yelling at the camera specifically because people want you to do that, that's wild. Y'all can see, man, even me, I've been screaming like this since I had 300 subscribers this is who I am, and I act, I don't act exactly like this in person. But when I get when I get passionate about something, yeah, I do tend to raise my voice. But I'm not gonna I'm not necessarily saying wake up. You know, I'm never doing stuff like that, like I just did. I'm not trying to yell just to get views. I yell and do all that because I'm being serious. Like it bothers me, and I start raising my voice because I I, I find it that serious. You know, but that's just how I do it. And uh. Oh, this is my talking point. You know. This is my space. You don't belong in this space, which I've heard a lot of since joining this. It's like, I don't, I guess I don't belong here because I think that we should be on the same team. The other side can't even decide what age a child should be able to cut off their genitals. And I don't support oh, any of that. Man. And if we can disagree that much, it's genuinely a culture war going on. It's a spiritual warfare. And most of the people in the, the red pill, the right wing space are all on a, a similar side. And I think we should work together. So I'm going to leave it all alone. Excuse me, sir. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to talk about some random person. Okay. Uh, now, he talks about that. So the reason I bring up, I told you I was going to bring up Sneeko later. Here's a video I made not too long ago. Y'all like that transition? I didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's watch. Fix your camera, big dog. So what do you do for a living? Porn. Oh, okay, okay. Great. great. Um, like what, what type? OnlyFans. Okay, um, with other, uh, by yourself? Um, with dudes. You could be one of them. I could, well, I, I personally don't do that. I mean, I, I don't judge. Okay. I, I think everybody um, can do a, how, maybe we could do, we, we can make our own he porn. Said, pro I don't judge. Didn't he just tell this OnlyFans model that she's satanic? He just told an OnlyFans model what you do is satanic and you should not do it if you want to save your soul. So let's play that black, pay, pay that black, <laughs> pay that back. Sorry, I'm wearing a black tie, a black shirt, black beard, black hair, black skin. I think everybody um, can do a, how, maybe we could do, we, we can make our own porn privately, you know? That's even, hold on. Um, with dudes, you could be one of them. I could, uh, well, I, I personally don't do that. I mean, I, I don't judge, I, th I think everybody. don't judge. Everybody, right. um, can do or how maybe we could do we, we can make our own porn privately you know that's even better keep it just for us just for us yeah. and then we, we could play it on the tv mm -hmm. in the house and it will pull down the windows nobody will see it just be just be me and you you think we could do that see how disgusting that is sneeko what i wonder what i say about that yeah let's Dang, that. people are in the okay so what, what got you into porn <laughs> Who cares? Um, I find it fascinating, honestly. I just enjoy it. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have fun with it. I I can tell like you, a woman who is completely lost. You seem uh, really relaxed. Like he you had you a see, great opportunity to really talk to her, and he screwed it up. Seem like you get massages a lot, and like you you go to the gym. This is the part that's gonna make set me off. You'll see right here. This is what sets me off. Yeah, I I massage myself every day. Kind of thing. Oh, yeah. you, 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 massage see my, you see my reaction as soon as she does that? Yeah, I, I massage myself every day kind of thing. Oh, you, you massage right here? I was so disappointed. I'm like, man, what a, what a 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. say. Oh, okay. Best spot. Do, do you stretch at all? Like, do you you make sure like you get your your arm stretches in or make sure yeah, that's right? Yeah, of course. Every that's day. Right. Chad, I'm sorry, Harad. I'm sorry. Coming mm-hmm. in my eyes. Okay. Uh, do you? Do, uh, no, I, I don't enough. But maybe when we if we get um if we meet up, we can do a workout or something. When do you want to meet up? I want to meet up as I'm soon as today. possible. You're down today. Yeah. You could you're gonna okay. come all the yeah, way to Miami. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I, I almost made the same <laughs> face. Okay, so uh, I can I can get your information uh, from Rice Gum, hopefully. Go ahead, give him to This is why I don't like this man. Um, why don't you like? Listen, I understand. We all fall, right? Ooh, saturation. Okay, I get that. Here's my thing: oh. this is the same man who will go off on women talking about being three hundred fours. Say a man who would talk about he's a man of faith because he's a Muslim and then do this same garbage. The same. He asked her to stretch. Like, man, it's so. Okay, y'all. Uh, oh, baby, a rant is incoming. I'm sorry. I'm hyped now. Well, if I do the jacket, I don't pool, understand why this man would go out of his way to. And see, that's what I'm saying, though. When I say I'm about to get past he it, it's not like I plan it. It's just I feel it in I feel it coming on, you the know. Muslim, and then do this same garbage, the same. He asked her to stretch, like man, it's so. Okay, y'all you see s- what I'm saying, and that's what I mean when I'm about to my rage and the way I get passionate. It is not a thing for entertainment. Oh baby, a rant is incoming. It, it just, I'm sorry, I can't help I'm hyped now. I don't understand why this man would go out of his way to embarrass a young woman like that who is clearly lost, who think doing corn is something to be, uh, oh, it's just kind of fun. And we all know how evil the corn world is. And we've, I mean, it is obvious at this point. And this is the same man who says, oh, I'm a man of faith. I'm a Muslim. I do this. I do that. He is quick to bring that up. But the second a girl comes on with big boobs and he got uh, some fans on his little rumble. Oh, man, he just goes right off the script because he's a liar. He's a flat liar, man. Because oh. I understand, like I said, if he slipped up, it happens. Okay. All right, so we, y'all can watch that video. That's an amazing video. Um, saturation's a little off. I was using a different webcam, so don't judge me, okay? <laughs> no, you can judge me. That's fine. But nonetheless, that's, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Like when I say, I'm, y'all see, I talk with my hands, and I do this a lot. I, I just, like, it is really pouring out of me when I talk. That's why I'm so vigil when the way I talk this is just how I've always been like I really believe in what I'm saying it's not I don't do this for some views or some clicks I don't mind people being who they are this is why I do like Shannon Sharp and a lot of the stuff he talks about because Shannon Sharp is very vibrant he's very talkative very loud a lot of hand movements but that's who he is because what he's talking about either he's joking or that's who he kind of is and that's why I like him so much, at least that's why I um that's why I enjoy watching him. I guess I can just say that. But nonetheless, I love people who do that kind of stuff. But I am just a fan. I am such a fan of people who also like this. Matt Walsh talks just like this. You rarely see Matt really get like he'll talk like this every now and then when he's trying to describe something, but it's not often that you'll hear him go, and I and this and that. But that I don't care. I like watching him because that's who he is. Very monotone. Very this. Very that. Very, well, I don't believe. You know? And that's what I'm saying. I don't think he does it for views because he's been talking like that. You can go back and watch all his videos. Guys, I have plenty of videos. Go back and watch all my videos. You'll know I've always been animated like this when I was getting zero views on my channel. I never thought about that being viral stuff. I don't do this stuff to get clicks. And view. I really don't care. That's why I make videos on whatever I want to make videos on because I don't care. You know, is monetization cool? Yes. Is making money cool? Yes. But I, you got to understand for me, man, the reason I do this because I really want to help young men. That's the main reason I make videos. Now, I said I want to do this on a more mainstream. I would love to be like a radio host or I would love to uh, do this on like something like the Daily Wire or Prager U or something like that. That would be great because that could only help push me even more. But this this of who I am, my mistakes and my failures, me being a porn addict when I was on here smoking marijuana. There was times on here I was making videos that I'm embarrassed of now. It's just like that was me being me. I was never doing any of this so you guys would like me. I don't do any of this because I care about the money that much. I told you guys probably the entire time I'm on YouTube, I will always have a nine to five because my channel is based off of life experiences. And I feel like if I don't work, if I don't have a nine to five and I'm not interacting with people, 
it will make me so disconnected from talking to people who support me. It'll make me so disconnected because I'm in a bubble all the time that I feel like my channel would die because I would get less passionate because I don't look people. Th there's just something about looking somebody in their eye, man. There's just something about looking people in their eyes when they talk to you and they cry or they laugh or you see something really makes somebody happy or you can tell somebody really wants to talk about something. I love that. I love looking people in their eyes, seeing the smiles and seeing all that stuff. It makes me just love life that much more. But it also makes me even more passionate about other stuff because I see it in real people. These are real people. And I feel like if I don't continue to stay connected, my channel will no longer be what can I change? It'll be what can I make? I don't ever want that to be the case for me. I don't want YouTube to determine everything I'm going to say. I'll try to respect their policies, but I don't want it to be to the point that if my views go down and I'm not making enough money, I feel like I got to change my whole. F oh, man. Bear with me, man. This this is a pretty passionate. uh subject for me i don't ever want this money off of youtube to determine how the hell i talk i'm not going to get on here and just go against their policies blatantly but i don't want it to get to the point and when i say when i say change the way i talk i mean i don't want it to ever be that i feel like i have to appease you guys and i have to change my way or nobody will watch me and i won't make money i don't give a fuck about that i like getting views and i like seeing my sub count go up but I did that and I started to see it going up doing what I'm doing now, talking about something y'all can feel the passion it coming out of my bones. That's why I do it, because I want y'all to feel that. And I want y'all to understand that I'm really trying to help you guys. And you guys are helping me when y'all make comments and stuff. You know, I want us to help each other because that's what relationships and humanity is about. Even though we will probably never meet each other, we'll probably never know each other. It doesn't mean you can't have an impact on my life and I can't have an impact on yours. And so I don't ever want it to get to the point where it's like, oh, my gosh, man, I, I didn't make a thousand dollars this month. Maybe I need to get on here and be a little bit more entertaining. Maybe I need to get outside of my personality. I don't want to have to do that. I want to be making I want to survive off of my nine to five money and this YouTube money just be for helping people or investments. That's it. I just want to use the money I make off of YouTube to go help other people or investments. Well, both actually but you know if somebody needs some extra money to get started on their youtube channel or somebody needs some extra help for me in my personal life this money that i make from here just being myself is what i'll use for my nine to five is what i use to continue to make money and continue to live life so i don't have to change financial freedom is so important guys and even though yes technically working a nine to five i'm not financially free but you know what i mean financially freedom i mean just being financially free means i don't have to change who i am to continue to make this money that's why i don't ever want i don't mind youtube making me full-time money but i don't want youtube to be my full-time job because i don't want to have to rely on this money being me having to be a certain way if it brings me in a lot of money great thank god i can use that money to help a lot of people and do a lot of things but if it never does i can keep making videos because I'm okay with working my nine to five. I don't mind going to work. I really don't give a fuck about the people who are like, oh, well, you're working for a man and you're making this much. I don't care. I, that's just not who I am. I'm not trying to be this big entrepreneur boss chick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with making my money and making the investments. I have met so many men in my life who are very wealthy today because they worked nine to fives and they were just smart with their money. They made the investments they needed to make and they did what they had to do. Like I always tell you about a guy I knew who was a mechanic my entire life growing up. And now he owns a good 40 or 50 acres all paid for, not having to pay no rent. And he's providing housing for people who need it for his kids and for his kids, kids. He can do that because he has so much land. He could put property on there. He's helping out his son right now, who's my best friend, who decided he wanted to be a farmer now, even though he gave up a great job to do that. His parents can be there for him because his dad went to work every day for 30 years and was really really diligent with his money he never bought new vehicles never bought new houses never tried to stun on nobody he was very diligent with his money he made some great investments and now he's set till the day he dies that's why i don't care about trying to always switch up like this man and that's what i hate for sneak on i hope one day he sees it but right now he's a disgusting person to me because of how he uses women how he says he doesn't judge, then calls it satanic, but also tells the girl, we can go meet in private. Like, 
how did you help that young woman, man? And you did all this for some stupid views from some teenage boys who don't give a damn about you, Kasniko. These kids don't care about you, man. These kids do not care about you, Sneeko. If you fall off and get banned from Rumble, which we know is very unlikely, but if you were to get banned from Rumble and you disappeared off the earth, you think these kids are going to be like, man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go start a lemonade stand so I can raise money for Sneeko. No, they're not giving you part of their paycheck. They're not going to do anything for you. They want to keep giving you money so you'll keep acting stupid. Some of these young teenage boys know that money runs the can run some people, and that's why they give the money they do. Same thing we see with these uh, hot tub streamers. Same thing we see with OnlyFans. Men know if I give enough money to somebody, oh, they'll do. They'll, they're pretty much a circus animal now, and I hate that people get treated like that for money. Anyway, oh man, another long video. I'm sorry, but I, I'm gone. Peace.